So Donald Trump's testimony on Monday, of course, all the coverage of it has been about the insanity, you know, Trump getting in trouble by the judge, Trump's lawyers getting in trouble with the judge, Trump's lawyers yelling back at the judge, Trump's lawyers and Trump attacking Letitia James, attacking the judge himself. So the spectacle, the theater of it all has been the main focus of the media. And that's a shame because on Monday, when Donald Trump was on the stand, he literally admitted to the things that he is accused of doing. Like he got up on the stand under oath and basically said, yeah, I did it. Here's how that exchange took place. Did you ever think that the values were off in your statement of financial condition? Assistant attorney general, Kevin Wallace asked the former president. Yes. On occasion, Trump responded both high and low. Yes. Sometimes they were too high. Sometimes they were too low. You know, the thing that the state has actually accused me of doing. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. So like, um, can, can, can we just gavel out right now and be like, all right, case closed. Here's, here's my judgment of what you owe. He admitted it. Like your main defendant got on the stand. I just read it to you and he admitted it. He's like, yes, yes, I did it. At that point, Ingron should have been like, oh, that's not what a gavel sounds like. But anyway, like gavel sound done. Thank you, Donald. We appreciate you. Um, your business is gone forever. Don't ever come back to New York. Like that should have been the end of the trial. He admitted it. And I know the guilt was already determined in this civil trial. Well, the guilt, the liability was already determined, but now that you have the confession, cause you can't take that as anything other than a confession. Like, why are we still doing it? We don't need Ivanka to come and show up and testify today. Like it's over. <laughs> You, you got him. You did it. Why are we still doing this? And why is every media outlet in the country not talking about this? Like he did it. He confessed. That kind of seems like a pretty big deal to me. I don't know about you, but yeah, he did it. Here's, here's another thing. Um, when you lie on a bank application, it doesn't matter if you inflate your, your assets or deflate your assets, because you sign a sworn document saying that you attest that these values, these, these, these numbers, whatever it is, are true and accurate. So going too high, like over inflating your assets is just as illegal as undervaluing your assets. Like you can't do either, either way, high, low, doesn't matter if it's not accurate, it, it's illegal. So him saying like, ah, some of them were too low. Cool. Still illegal. You can't do that. <laughs> he did continue. And he said, probably I, I said, I thought it was too high. I, I, I don't, I don't know what's too high anymore because I'm seeing things sold at numbers that are very high. So he's like, ah, yeah, we definitely went too high on some of them, but Hey, have you seen real estate prices recently? Ooh, crazy. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's admission number two. And then of course, Donald Trump tried to say, well, listen, and he says this on social media all the time. He says it in speeches. I had the disclaimer clause and the disclaimer clause says, don't believe anything we say basically. So I'm in the clear. Judge Ingeron addressed that too. And he said, the clause does not use the words worthless or useless or ignore or any similar words. It does not say the values herein or what I think the properties will be worth in 10 or more years. So Ingeron dismantles Donald Trump's disclaimer clause and says like, yeah, it just cause you have that doesn't mean that it absolves you of your liability. So Trump's got no defenses left. He literally admitted to the thing multiple times while on the stand. So I think at this point, if Ingeron were to choose this trial supposed to go into December, but I'm pretty sure he could wrap it up before Thanksgiving. If he wanted to anything beyond this at this point is simply to embarrass Donald Trump. And I'm okay with that. I'm just saying it's not necessary because the doofus just admitted to it. 
Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.